your weather rate certified most accurate forecast. Fox 54 weather. Emily, I'll say I am happy to know that I don't have to walk out with the gold coat. Oh my gosh. I my Uggs, even though I Ooh. still wear them because they're just comfy, but Yes, it feels good to have, yeah. would this be normal weather yeah. during this time of year? Yeah, it was It was nice to have on a sweatshirt and then not still be freezing underneath the sweatshirt. Yeah. But uh. I'll say, I'm, you know, I like warm weather. It's great and dandy, but when we're in December, I want cold weather. This is true. I know. This we do have warmer weather on the way, though. Let's go ahead and jump out to graphics. We'll show you guys what high temperatures today topped out in low 60s, upper 50s in some places. 59 was the high temperature today in Huntsville. 62 in Florence, 59 in Scottsboro, 60 in Moulton, 60 in Russellville. Temperature is only going to get warmer from here, believe it or not. We'll be at 62 heading into your Friday. For New Year's weekend, 64 on Saturday, 66 on Sunday. We'll keep upper 60s in the trend heading into to your Monday and your Tuesday. And we're not stopping there. It looks like we're going to stay above average heading into the first official week of January. Climate Prediction Center, they do have the Tennessee Valley in the above average category. Satellite and radar right now showing clouds off to our west. Some rain included. That will continue to move to the east, and we'll see some rain from that heading into Thursday night and into your Friday. But for right now, we're going to be quiet and we'll I'm going to stay mild out there for at least the time being. We will dip back down into the 40s throughout the overnight. 53 right now in Huntsville, 51 in Athens, 53 in Pulaski, 50 right now in Coleman. So for the overnight, good news is we are going to stay above freezing heading into the overnight. Temperature is expected to drop into the mid and low 40s, and we'll stay that way heading into the first half at least of uh, tomorrow, 46, right around 6 o'clock. Gradually going to warm up into the upper 50s. We'll see mostly clouds throughout the day tomorrow. And it looks like low 60s is where we're headed high temperature wise for the afternoon. So like I said earlier, we do have rain in the forecast. So I'll go ahead and time it out for you right now on our future cast. It looks like for at least the first half of Friday uh, through portions of lunchtime, we will stay dry, but rain will start to move in ahead of a cold front. We're expected to see this turns more widespread heading into Friday evening. We could see heavier pockets of rain at times. So uh, just be mindful of that if you are going to be out commuting at that time, but we will start to dry out a tad bit heading into late Friday night, early Saturday. Some of us could still see some rain heading into your early Saturday morning, but once we get into the first day of the new year, a few isolated showers could be possible early Sunday morning, but we will be dry for the most part. So it looks like majority of the rain is expected heading into your Saturday and heading into next Tuesday. And we could see some storms heading into next Tuesday as well, but obviously we're just going to continue to watch it. New Year is this weekend. Believe it or not, 64 is what we're expecting New Year's Eve. I do have the rain icon, but that looks to be out of the area by the time we get ready to ring in the new year. Mid and upper 60s expected for your New Year's Day with a partly cloudy sky. Your seven day forecast looks like this low 60s for tomorrow. Could be breezy at times. We could see gusty winds up to 20 miles per hour. A few rain showers introduced back into the forecast for Friday. We'll introduce a few thunderstorms into that rain heading into your Saturday. Partly cloudy sky for Sunday. Looking ahead into next week. It looks like we'll keep rain in the forecast for the first half of next week and then rain will start to taper off as we head into the back half of next week. Week temperatures look to stay in the 